We have new information tonight on the search for Jalik Rainwalker. Investigators had to wait nearly three years to scour a dangerous gorge in the Battenkill for the body of the young boy missing since 2007. But today, they finally got to the bottom of a section that the locals in Greenwich call the Hell Hole. Abigail Black joins us now live with what they found. Good evening, Abby. Jim, it was a risky dive, and that's why it took so long to get done. But state police didn't find human remains. It's called Hell Hole for a reason. It's a deep gorge in the Battenkill, Washington County, and it's almost inaccessible because of the surrounding high cliffs. The current is so fast it looks like a whirlpool, and underwater is littered with dangerous debris from a mill upstream. But today the river was the lowest it's been since Jalik went missing, so state police divers went in. There's pieces of metal, so on and so forth, that's in there, and we, we didn't want to risk the divers in, this, in the high water, so... That's why they went in today. Hellhole is the last natural place that Chief Bell and others working the case had on their list to search. Even though Jalik's body wasn't located today, the case is far from over. Stephen Kerr, Jalik's adoptive father, is still the only person of interest. Police say he still isn't cooperating with the investigation. They have nothing to hide. They don't need to hide behind an attorney. Come see me one on one. We'll talk about the case. As frustrated as Bell says he is, Jalik's adoptive grandmother is even more so. Barbara really wakes up every morning on the day of a search thinking she'll soon have answers. I get myself so hopeful um, that it is, you know, sad when as much as law enforcement and the forest rangers have searched and searched and done their best, um, they just as yet haven't found my grandchild. Tips continue to come in, some credible, some not. So loved ones and law enforcement aren't the only ones wondering what happened to Jalik. The boy who would now be 15 has been missing for 34 months and one day. At what point do you stop, if ever? When we find Jalik. He disappeared, but he is somewhere. He has to be somewhere. There's no way that poof and he's gone. He was born, he lived, he, he's somewhere. One of the tips that came in recently came from a dying man. According to relatives, he told them on his deathbed that he helped bury Jalik. Police looked into it. They call it now uncredible. Jim? Thanks, Abby.